<laughs> when he thought the fires were out, and so all of a sudden they went. <laughs> and I was out there all night with all these firefighters that were volunteers that were asking me, can I call my wife and let her know I'm getting ready? Can I call my son? And it hit me. Well, you guys really did. And from that moment on, I was hooked. I said, there's no to you. There's just a, and you never let me back home. And I have to tell you that with all the grass fires that have been going on lately, you know, you know, you all know where I work. And I had several clients that said, we're scared because there's lots of burn, lots of fire, lots of smoke. And I said, you know why you don't have to be scared? Have you seen one house go up yet? No. Then they're doing it right. You're doing it right. And God bless you in, your, in my prayers all the time. And Jim, I was kidding. You're the best boss I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little tired at the time. I'm in Colorado again, by the way. Someone else's problem. I won't tell you what she said while you were gone. I'm getting over the bus. bus. <laughs> I just remember those famous words. <laughs> So a lot of fire. Bring lots of water. <laughs> I set my size up. I didn't say I was a fire fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>